Hey uh, this is GeoLazerWolf coming at you with another Destiny video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Kustav, which is the exotic auto rifle that you're able to pick up from Rise of Iron. I know a lot of you guys were asking me in the stream, Laser, how do you get it? Well, to get it, it takes a couple of steps. First of all, you're going to want to have a Kustav. I'll have a video later on today showing going over how to get it without having the weapon. So, in order for you to actually get the quest line, you're going to have to have the Kustav enabled. Once you have it enabled, you're going to go ahead and dismantle your Kustav. And you will go ahead and unlock a quest line. Once you unlock that quest line, all you guys have to do is go ahead, head over, and uh, talk to our boy Shiro. And he's going to give us, guys, the next step to actually getting this completed. So we're going to go ahead, go talk to our friend uh, Shiro right here, and uh, tell him, Hey, yo, what's up, man? We got the cool stuff. We got the schematics. We're ready to rock and roll. And he'll go ahead and have you pick this one, and it's called We Found a Rifle. Now, one thing I do want to let you guys know, if you guys find these videos helpful, enjoyable, make sure you guys drop a comment and a like. Let's try to go get this video to 200 likes, and let's get started on getting our cool stuff. So, once we picked up what this quest line is called We Found a Weapon, we will go ahead and get our quests ready. So, it's going to ask us to do two sets of things. One is to find pages, and these pages contain schematics of the cool stuff, and then... The second part of this is going to ask us to find weapon parts. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and find these pages. To find these pages, all you have to do is head over to the Plague Lands. And once you're in the Plague Lands in patrol, you're going to want to go ahead and kill a certain sort of enemy. It doesn't. It's not any enemy that you could kill that will automatically give you guys a page for the cool stuff. It's a specific enemy that's going to be dropping this. Now, it doesn't mean that every time you kill the enemy, you will go ahead and get the page to drop. It's pure RNG. The more enemies you kill, the more likely you're able to go ahead and get pages. Now, one of the best strategies that I found is actually staying where you spawn and just killing a bunch of these. Uh, of the drag spicers and those go ahead go ahead and to drop you guys some pages as you see right here we kill a vandal spicer and he will go ahead and drop these little triangle things okay, and so as I you guys see cool stop manual, manual page on a lock so you're supposed to get so at least 10 of these with 10 of these you guys should be able to rock and roll and, and be ready to continue to the uh, second part, yes, which is so actually remember, getting the parts for the cool stuff and this is where stuff gets a little bit tricky because once you guys go ahead and obtain all 10 pages, uh, you guys are going to go ahead and be able to start your quest to actually get the parts. So to get the parts, you're going to have to do pretty much the same thing. One thing I would recommend is definitely go log out of the plug lens and come right back in. Once you log in, what you're going to do is want to head straight. You're going to go through this door right here. That's the front store you see uh, when you're heading there. Make sure you keep everything towards the right hand side. And to just keep going straight, straight, you're going to come across a bridge, jump over that bridge, go left on that bridge, and just head straight down the hallway to your right. Once you make it through here, you guys will be noticing a familiar area, which is, of course, our first mission when we ever started, uh, when we first did our, you know, mission towards uh, actually playing Destiny. And you're going to notice a very familiar area. So you're going to head from, you're going to head all the way from, the uh, rocket yard to the divide and then the divide all the way back to the breach and uh, once you're in the breach you're going to head also all the way all the way back to where the actual uh, if you remember the cars are at the cars where you know where our ghost revived us that is the area we're going to be heading one thing I do want to let you guys know is you're going to need a splicer key because this section was closed off for myself and for two other of my friends so without a splicer key you won't be able to get across so definitely make sure you guys have at least one splicer key to open up the portal once you're here all you got to do guys is head straight straight you're going to notice that something different which is a ship that is right dab in front of you all you do is jump on top of that ship head towards the left clear all the ads that you have to clear mostly mostly hive make sure you guys kill that wizard which is the like the boss i would say that's protecting this area once you guys go ahead and clear all the hive and all the cursed thrall on the backhand side to the right hand side you'll find this chest and this chest will give you the cool stuff schematic, schematic. and uh, once and you have this enabled right all you gotta do us. is find parts yeah, yeah, don't leave this mission part. don't leave this patrol part because the parts are actually very close to the vicinity all you're going to want to do is turn around from where we came from and head back out of the ship and head back towards the uh the divide if you guys don't know where the divide is the divide is the area where you have the fallen walker spawn when we were doing patrols when destiny year one came out 
that is the first portion i'm pretty sure everybody's familiar where that walker's at but if you're not familiar let's go ahead and show you guys exactly where that's at so once you head out of this area right here you're gonna this is the divide instead you're gonna go to the left like where you came from and head to the area or the sewer where the fallen catch dropped where you first went ahead and got your first ship once you guys go ahead and head to that area make sure you guys clear the ads once you're there you're gonna head back to the back part of the steps which is like if you were coming in when you spawn in from the cosmic drone and once you're to that back area right there what you're going to want to do is head towards the table on the back section right there you come here, and pick that up. That I'm going to go ahead and slow right it down. That's where the catch jumps out. And, and this is where the weapon part number one will be two. located. Once you go ahead and to pick up this weapon part, you will go ahead and unlock the grammar card. Once you lock that grammar card, it's time to find weapon part number deuce. Once you have find weapon part number two, all you got to do is double parts, back, boys. head back to the divide and work your way back to where Sepix Prime Strike starts. So we're going to head straight right here, go all the way to the straight to the left hand side and head towards the rocket yard. Go all the way back to where remember where we fought our good old buddy Sepix Prime where we had our first strike. Once you're in this area, which is the refinery, what you're going to want to do is head all the way guys, all the way back to where we fought Sepix Prime. So Remember, this weapon part is going to be very, very easy to get. Just make sure you guys clear the ads because you definitely don't want to go ahead and die and then have to respawn on here. So just clear the ads. I mean, you can skip the ads if you want to, but remember, picking stuff in the Plague Lance is going to be very beneficial, especially if you want to do Arkham's Forge or if you want to do any other, other quest line because you're going to need the keys. Once you go ahead and get through the doors that had the, you know, the, the lasers beams that you had to wait to open, you're going to head to the right-hand side before you go to the wall. And on your right here. hand side, you're going to go ahead and notice weapon part number two waiting for you to pick it up. So once you have weapon part number two, weapon part, it becomes super duper easy because once you pick up this part, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and head straight like if you were going towards the walker. And the good thing is there are not that many enemies and you can just pretty much just walk by them and skip them. And right here to the left hand side on the top part where the captain usually jumps down where you, you, know, you used to shoot the walker from. That is the part where the Kustav part will be located. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. This is the part where the captain jumps and you just jump right on down. And this is where you find weapon part number three for the cool stuff. Once you go ahead and pick up this part, it will tell you, hey, you found another step. Go talk back to Shiro and head back to the tower to go ahead and talk to him go to the tower all you're going to want to do is go ahead and talk to shiro once you talk to shiro he'll go ahead and tell you hey man thank you for getting all those weapon parts but you have one more thing to do and that is go ahead and complete a mission for me so you could definitely go ahead and get the kustov and it's called the kustov rising so this mission has you go ahead and kill a captain you got to kill him repeatedly it's very hard to actually do, do this solo i went ahead and did this solo but it is a bit challenging so i definitely recommend you guys to definitely do this with a fire team to get it done fairly fairly quickly once you go ahead and kill the captain we'll then be able to go ahead and have your beloved kustov and by far definitely guys definitely been playing with it a little bit and i gotta admit i am really liking the way it plays in pve haven't tested it out in uh, pvp i will be going ahead and testing it out we'll have a weapon review as well uh later on uh, today or tomorrow going over what i think of the cool stuff in pvp and pve but i just haven't had a chance to actually get on pvp at the current moment been finding a lot of pve so that is the cool stuff fellas that is how you obtain it i hope you find this video helpful and informative you did make guys sure you leave a comment and a like, guys. And if you guys want to stay up to date to everything Rise of Iron, or you have any questions regarding Rise of Iron, make sure you guys drop it down in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys on the next video.